Hi, it's Katrina. From hotels made of ice to a full-on prison experience, here are nine of the strangest hotels in the world. Number 10, Treehouse Lodge Resort, Peru. The Treehouse Lodge Resort is located in the Peruvian Amazon rainforest. It can only be reached by an hour-long boat ride from Iquitos. After arriving, guests have to climb between 35 and 60 feet into one of eight circular tree houses that sit up in the forest canopy. They have thatch roofs, a railing, curtains, and optional mosquito netting. Definitely take the option. When you come here, there is practically nothing separating you from the rainforest besides the mosquito net. You are up in the trees enjoying the wildlife and, of course, the tropical environment. There are only cold water showers which are located on the main level and each treehouse leads to a common area connected by suspended walkways. Pretty neat, right? In the common area, they serve world-famous Peruvian food. So don't worry, you don't have to go out and catch dinner. It must smell pretty good since squirrel monkeys, sloths, macaws, and other rainforest creatures frequently visit the resort. There's also no worries about safety as each treehouse is engineered in the United States by a structural engineer and is inspected and adjusted every year to make sure none of them are about to fall out. There are plenty of things to do. During the day, guests have their own personal guides that will take them to indigenous villages or river dolphin watching. I think it would be a once in a lifetime experience to say the least. Has anyone been here? Let me know your experience in the comments below. Number nine, Uter in Sweden. This hotel is a bit fishy. That's right, it's underwater. Though there are many underwater hotels around the world now, the Uter Inn in Sweden is very special. It is the project of a local artist located in the middle of Lake Malaren. At first glance, it just looks like a small cabin on a floating platform. But that's just all you can see from the surface. Underneath the water, more than nine feet down, is a bedroom that is only accessible by a stepladder. Its glass walls allow you to see all the fish and wildlife around you as you lay in bed and become one with the lake. To get there, you're picked up by a boat. Once there, you're given an inflatable canoe and you're on your own. There's nearby inhabited islands to explore with your canoe, or the deck is big enough to enjoy a good book under the sun. The cabin is equipped with a hot plate and various dishes, a dry toilet, and though there is no electricity, there are gas-powered lamps and heating. The funny thing is, while you may be surrounded by fish in bed, the hotel has a strict no fishing policy. After all, I guess if you fished all the fish, there would be nothing to see. If you need to get away from it all, the Uter Inn is open May through August. Number 8. Crane Hotel, The Netherlands This upscale hotel comes with a strange twist. In Harlingen, a crane on the docks has been converted into a hotel that has boasted tons of high-end corporate clients including Red Bull, Louis Vuitton, and Heineken. When they began renovations on this crane that at the time was sitting in an abandoned fishing wharf, they left the observation windows for a fantastic view of Amsterdam, which sits just across the river. They also added an industrial chic bedroom and bathroom to each of the three suites. In addition to the suites, there is also a panoramic lounge that holds upscale events. Of course, it includes a champagne breakfast that is delivered on an internal lift. Talk about breakfast in bed. Were you worried about the pool? It has a heated pool on the top deck more than 100 feet in the air. But the best feature? The crane still works and guests are allowed to move it as they please. This might be one strange hotel, but a lot of people want to go just to play with the crane. And now for number seven. But first, what's the strangest hotel you've ever been to? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe if you're new here. We've got lots of new videos coming up. Number seven, Palacio de Sal, Bolivia. This one is pretty unique. How about a hotel made entirely of salt? The walls are salt, the floor, the ceiling, even most of the furniture. It makes sense because the Palacio de Sal in Bolivia, which means the Salt Palace, is located just 15 miles away from the famous great salt flats of Salar de Uyuni, where all their raw material comes from. Unless they were actually in a salt mine, it would be difficult to get that much salt. Over a million salt blocks were used in the construction of the buildings, with salty water acting as the mortar that puts the bricks together. In fact, the only things not made of salt are the toilets and the tin roof. Now, by this point, you're probably thinking that since the hotel is entirely made of salt, it might be kind of primitive, but it is known as a palace for a reason. 
The Palacio de Sal actually has all the modern conveniences that you would expect from a standard modern hotel like a game room, a bar, a restaurant, and transportation to and from the airport. There's even free Wi-Fi throughout the entire property, bonus! And they also rent bicycles for you to explore the natural salt landscape, if you haven't had enough of the salt already. There are some specific rules for guests though, like don't lick the walls. Number 6. Propeller Island City Lodge, Germany This hotel is all about artistic creativity. Propeller Island in Berlin is quite the spectacle. It has a total of 27 rooms, all of which are unique, with an entirely different theme. There's one room that is a prison cell, another that is a crypt, with coffin included, and a room that is entirely surrounded by mirrors. When I was thinking about the different themes that each of these rooms could have, none of these came to mind. However, this hotel is all about a celebration of eccentricity, so a room with building-shaped furniture is artistic expression, not just random. But you really have to enjoy art to appreciate it. Propeller Island is currently closed for renovations and a new surprise concept. Can't wait to see what they come up with next, so stay tuned! Number 5. Hotel Lindenwert, Germany this hotel is also located in Germany, except instead of Berlin, its home is in Rudesheim in the Rhine Valley, which is famous for its wine. Their unique twist is that you can sleep in a wine barrel. Don't worry, they've tried to make it more comfortable than you think. And the beds are separated, so if you're hoping for a romantic night, it might be tough. But it is surrounded by beautiful views. The house has been run by the same family for generations. The hotel is constructed out of huge barrels that once held over 1,500 gallons of wine. They have now been made into bedroom-bathroom combinations that are perfect for you to sleep off the wine tastings you'll try. Hotel Lindenvert also has a restaurant that has rave reviews. Definitely have to check it out. Number 4. Hobbit Motel, New Zealand Located on the North Island of New Zealand is the Hobbit Motel at Woodland Park. Inspired by, of course, Lord of the Rings, these units are located in the side of a hill with grazing donkey and sheep. Not only is it Hobbit-themed, but it has its own kitchen, living area, and bedroom, making it completely self-sufficient housing. The motel contains 10 units total. Two of the units are Hobbit homes. Woodland Park also has three other strange sleeping places because, you know, Hobbits are flexible. A ship, a plane, and a train. The train is a restored 1918 rail carriage named the Waitomo Express, and it has two separate bedrooms. The ship is called the Waitanic, which was a World War II patrol boat. It was recovered from Australia and took over two years to refurbish and make it into the five suites that it houses today. The plane is a Bristol freighter plane, which was one of the last Allied planes that was flown into Vietnam. This motel may have some strange accommodations, but there sure is some cool history to go along with it. And as an added bonus, it is two hours from Auckland and just two minutes from the Waitomo Caves. Number 3. Magic Mountain Hotel, Chile This magical place is right out of a fairy tale. It's a mountain on a mountain. And to get to it, you have to go through a waterfall high up in the Andes Mountains in the Chilean forest. The Magic Mountain Hotel peeks out from the Huilo Huilo Reserve in Chile. It is a wooden cone covered with moss, gnarled with vines, and a waterfall cascading down from the pinnacle. To reach the hotel, you must cross the wooden drawbridge that, unfortunately, doesn't take you to Terabithia, but it's close. There's little portholes spread throughout the cone in irregular intervals, and as if all that weren't enough magic, the surroundings are a biological preserve, which is sure to amaze you. There are small native deer and many kinds of birds. There's also a mini golf course, and it's very close to South America's longest zip line, which is 1,500 feet long. Have fun! Number 2. Ice Hotel, Sweden The Ice Hotel located in Jukasjärvi, Sweden is, you guessed it, the largest hotel made entirely from snow and ice. Even more than a hotel, it is an art exhibition that was founded in 1989. Even your bed is made out of ice. This keeps the temperature throughout the hotel around 23 degrees Fahrenheit. Since the ice eventually melts, the building gets reconstructed every November. A team of architects and over 40 artists redesign the bar, rooms, and chapel, so every year there's a fresh design. They spend several weeks carving the ice and creating works of art that melt every few months, so the effect is bittersweet. Because they use natural ice straight from the Torn River, the months leading up to November consist of taking care of the ice, allowing it to build and grow thick before harvesting. It takes several hundred tons of real Arctic ice to create this amazing place. But if your ideal vacation includes constant snow pants and fur, Ice Hotel is definitely for you. 
it can be visited year-round as long as you can get there. Number 1. Karosta Sietums, Latvia This is one strange hotel where you will need to sign a waiver. Its name is Karosta Sietums, located in Latvia, and it was a prison during World War II. Now, tourists are paying to spend the night there for the full prison experience. This is one case of turning dark history around to be educational, I guess. It previously housed revolutionaries, Stalin's enemies, and later the KGB during the Cold War. It now invites you to stay for an experience that is anything but normal because this place used to be gruesome. A good hotel has nice staff, is clean, and typically has some pretty good restaurants, but this hotel breaks all of those rules. Its guests play the part and get yelled at and are punished with physical exercise. The idea is to see what it was like during communist-era conditions. You sleep on the floor, take abuse from prison guards, and even eat the prison food. This is not for the faint of heart. And of course, the place is haunted. But hey, it's only $16 a night, so go ahead and give it a try. And then let me know how it goes, because I'm definitely not going there. Thanks for watching! Which one of these hotels would you like to visit? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye!